Hello friends, how are you all? My name is Harshid Devedi and I welcome you back to my video. So in this video friends, I will be dealing with you the classification of mountains and I will be detailing this classification in three terms. Location wise classification of mountains, time period wise classification of mountains and how these mountains exactly originated. That is mode of origin wise. So do all the things will be discussed by me. Also in this video, I will be giving a slight idea of the location of these mountains, but the details regarding the exact location of these mountains and showing them on the world map will be done by me in a separate video in which I will be dealing with you the important mountain ranges of the world. So the link of that video is given in the description box below. You can also see that video. Actually see that video that will give you a great idea about all these activities. So first I am going to discuss mountains location wise. One more thing I want to tell you friends if you want to follow me. The link of my Instagram profile is given in the description box below. This video is in English friends. If you want to watch the Hindi version of the video, the link of that is also given below. Now mountains which are located at the coast. So examples of them are the Rockies in the western United States of America and Rockies are not exactly at the coast because even to the west of Rockies there are Cascade mountain range, coastal mountain range, Sierra Nevada mountain range. Okay. <clears throat> Then comes the Appalachians. Appalachians are on the eastern edge of the United States of America. Then comes the Western Ghats on the western edge of Indian subcontinent and Eastern Ghats on the eastern edge of Indian subcontinent. Then on the oceanic floor, so there is a mountain named Mount Kia. The, this Mount Kia rises from the oceanic floor and it comes above the surface of the ocean. The total height is 9140 meters. And if you are going to compare it with Mount Everest, it is even taller than Mount Everest. Mount Everest is around 8800 something meters. So, but this is rising from the ocean basin. So that is why on earth the largest mountain is Mount Everest. Okay. But yes, in real it is Mount Kia because it is 9140 meters. Now there are some mountains which are inside the continents away from the oceans. They are the Vosges and Black Forest in Europe, in Germany. Then this Kunlun Shan and Tian Shan in China. This Altai mountains are in Mongolia. Major part is in Mongolia. And then the Ural mountains in Russia and then the Himalayas. Not only in India but also in Nepal, Bhutan. Okay. Now this is a slight location of these mountains. You can see the Rockies here. So on the rest of the Rockies, this is the Sierra Nevada range. Here is the Cascade range. Here is the coastal range. Then in South America on the western edge comes the Andes mountain range. Then this is the Atlas mountain range in Morocco. It is touching both the Atlantic Ocean and the Mediterranean Sea. Then here is the Himalayas. You can see this is Altai mountains in Mongolia. Then here is Kunlun Shan, Tian Shan. Here is the Western Ghats on the Western edge, Eastern Ghats on the Eastern edge. This is the Drakensberg mountain range in South Africa on the Southeastern edge of the African continent. And this is the Great Dividing Range of Australia on the Eastern edge of Africa. Australian continent which is also known as Australian Alps. This is the Ural mountains in Russia. Here somewhere is the Caucasus mountains. So these are the some important mountain ranges location which will be in depth discussed by me in the video whose link is given in the description box below. Then coming forward friends I am going to classify the mountains on the basis of time period. So on the basis of time period friends there is one branch named as orogenic. Now orogenic deals with the study of mountains. Till now there have been nine orogenic events which are also known as mountain building events. So till now nine mountain building events have taken place and most of the mountains which are present on the earth, major mountains are built during these nine periods and some of them exist in the pre-Cambrian time also. Now if you want to know in detail about pre-Cambrian time, kindly watch my geological time scale video. Okay, so all the time distribution of the ages, epochs, eras, periods I have done in this geological time scale video. Also, the three most recent orogenies are Celadonian, Harsinian and Alpine. It is not that important friends, but still I am discussing it. So in Pre-Cambrian, the Laurentian mountains of Canada come. In Celadonian, the Appalachians of the eastern USA and Aravlis, which is somewhere present in the Rajasthan of and in the north India. Then Harsinian. Vosges and Black Forest of Germany, Altai of Mongolia, Tian Shan of China, Ural Mountains of Russia. Then Alpine time period, Rockies of North America 
एटलस माउंटेन्स ऑफ नॉर्थ वेस्टर्न अफ्रीका विच आई टोल्ड आर टचिंग बोथ द एटलांटिक ओशन एंड द मेडिटेरेनियन सी सो दिस इज द ब्रेकअप ऑफ माउंटेन्स ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ टाइम पीरियड फ्रेंड्स एंड नाउ द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट ब्रेकअप ऑफ माउंटेन एंड दिस इज हाउ एग्जैक्टली दीज माउंटेन्स ओरिजिनेटेड एंड ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ इट माउंटेन्स कैन बी क्लासीफाइड इन टू फोल्ड माउंटेन्स ब्लॉक माउंटेन्स वॉलकैनिक माउंटेन्स डोम माउंटेन्स प्लेट्यू माउंटेन्स नो दिस इज द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट क्लासिफिकेशन फ्रेंड्स मोस्ट ऑफ द प्लेसेज दिस इज द क्लासिफिकेशन विच इज बिंग आस्ट फ्रॉम अस एंड दिस विल हेल्प यू अ लॉट इन अंडरस्टैंडिंग द डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन ऑफ माउंटेन्स ऑल ओवर द वर्ल्ड बिकॉज these fold block volcanic dome plateau this completely tells us how these mountains were originally formed and this will give a geological history of that particular region in which these mountains are formed so first of all we are going to talk about the fold mountains now when fold mountains are formed friends fold mountains are formed when two tectonic plates of the earth converge with each other so when they converge with each other compressive forces develop friends okay and this convergence can be between two continental plates or one continental plate and one tectonic uh, one oceanic plate okay friends so this thing is there and even in oceanic oceanic friends so what is happening that uh, when both the tectonic plates are pressing against each other now if you want to know exactly about plate tectonics friends kindly watch my plate tectonics video so what happens when these two places a uh, two plates are uh, heading on you know are having a collision head on with each other so compressive forces occur in between them and because of that compressive forces those compressive forces are so huge that they lead to the folding of the rocks and slowly slowly this folding increases in height and it increases the height of the mountains up to a great uh, you know height so they they become the fold mountains so basically these tectonic plates crumple buckle and create these fold mountains so important fold mountain ranges of the world are rocky mountains in the north america himalayan mountains in asia so there are many more examples of that then comes the block mountains friends now what are block mountains block mountains they are also known as fault block mountains and they happen where a fault or crack is developed in the earth crust and when a fault or crack occurs what will happen friends that the whole crust will break into chunks and some chunks will move down and when those chunks will move do- down so the surrounding area will appear to a person as uplifted and they will seem to us in the forms of mountains this especially happens in the areas of rift valley what happens in the rift valley the land is separating so m- maximum land in between is going downwards so the surrounding area seems to us as uplifted so that becomes block mountains and there are many more places they are found for example one is the sierra nevada mountains now let us have a look at this in detail by this figure this will be a bit more clear to you now see friends this land and this crust would have been even straight forward now what happened two faults occurred in this land so this is one fault you can say and this is the second fault now when this fault occurred what happened the in between crust moved downwards and because of the downward movement of this middle crust what happened the side crust seemed to us as upward so when this middle crust moved downwards it felt that the crust on the both the sides they are a bit high so normal person he will not see that this middle crust has gone downwards he will see that the sideward crust are at a height and they will feel to him as mountains so these are fault block mountains because because of this fault or transform fault some land has gone downward so because of that depressed land the adjoining areas are feeling to us as uplifted in the form of mountains so this is fault block mountain friends one example you can see here this i think is the picture of the sierra sierra nevada range so what is happening you can see this is mountain these are mountains and in between there is a depression now this depression is due to a fault so because of this previously what would have happened it would be something like this it would have been a straight forward land but fault occurred and because of this fault this middle area it came downwards and because of the downward movement of this middle area these side mountains seem to us as uplifted now some of you will ask why these are pointed if it was a even area so be- these are pointed because for millions of years these mountains have been subjected to erosion 
most of the mountains are pointed because of being subjected to erosion okay so this is the whole explanation beneath behind the formation of fold mountains sorry block mountains friends and then moving forward the next is volcanic mountains now as the name subjects when a volcano comes magma lava ash will come out with a lot of you can say energy volcanic gases will come out so when volcanic eruptions occur obviously these lava and magma are coming out now this lava when magma when comes out it settles in the area surrounding the vent and when that molten magma or lava solidifies it converts itself into igneous rocks and then what forms a volcano forms and this volcano sometimes become the volcanic mountains because when a big volcanic eruption will occur a lot of magma and lava will be thrown outwards and slowly slowly gradually that molten magma molten magma and lava will settle down it will solidify it will convert itself into rocks and that rock will form this volcano mountain for example mount rainier in usa and fuji in japan this is the cross section of a volcano friends you can see beneath is the magma chamber through this central vent this magma is coming out now here magma and lava is being thrown out in huge quantities surrounding areas now when this magma in the surrounding area solidifies it converts itself into a rock and it appears to us in the form of a volcano okay so this is how this volcanoes are formed here you can see here this smoke and ash is coming out of this volcano friends okay and these uh, this whole area which we are seeing this is because of the solidification of that magma and lava which came out during the eruption process so these are volcanic mountains friends moving forward what are dome mountains dome mountains are also formed due to the action of magma from beneath the earth crust the only difference here in dome mountain is that that molten magma has not break up this rock and came out so see this dome type of thing is uplifted so why it uplifted it uplifted because magma floats beneath the crust pushed up these surface rocks this surface would have been plain but magma beneath the surface crust it would have pushed this above but despite of this pushing the magma was not able to create a hole and come out so what happened slowly slowly the magma inside cooled and solidified and because of this this dome like mountain form so this is basically dome mountains because they are they you know uh, got their round swelling shape this dome shape because of the action of the magma beneath the earth crust but yes magma didn't created a vent and didn't came out so obviously when it solidified they converted themselves into a dome okay so these are the dome mountain friends and finally we will come to the plateau mountains now see this is something very extraordinary this plateau mountains you can see this is almost a rectangular plateau this is a flat surface up here but it appears in the form of a mountain you can see what height it is having so plateau mountains are basically formed by erosion okay i will tell you and this is erosion mostly by the rivers now what is happening friends they are large and high levels of flat land some 600 meters above sea level so their height is around 600 meters and they are flat land see the top is completely flat and how they formed see first of all if you want to understand this how these plateau mountains formed first you need to understand how plateaus form friends and when you are able to understand how plateaus form obviously when big plateaus will form what will happen the rivers over billions of year over crores of year they will cut these plateaus sidewise they will cut these plateaus sidewise and this hole would have been a complete plateau but these rivers in these directions were cutting these plateaus for billions of year and that is why they eroded these sides and this is why a aloof plateau a small plateau standing here in the form of a mountains and this is the reason they are known as what a plateau mountains they are normally formed near fold mountains okay these mountains are formed in new zealand and catskills of new york these are the examples of plateau mountains friends so mostly what the type of mountains i have discussed also in association with this video also watch the video on the important mountain ranges of the world friends and if you really like this video kindly subscribe to my channel like this video please share this video with more and more of your friends and uh, friends if you you know uh, just tell me through your comments how you liked it and you can also share your doubts with me so goodbye friends keep studying